good Wells, thanks for joining us. A uh, quick word about Saturday, we were just talking about it off camera there, but it was, uh, from a personal point of view, it must have been a, a strange day going back to Falkirk, a, a club you'd spent so uh, so long at, and um, good to get on the score sheet though from your point of view. Yeah, delighted, uh, happy to get on the score sheet. I, was, uh, had, I had a feeling it was going to come up, but um, just didn't know when. Um, but yeah, you know, I was happy to get on the score sheet, got a goal, probably could have had a hat-trick in, in the time that I was on there and with the chances that I had, but um, two great saves by the keeper as well, so yeah, happy to, get, happy to get the goal and obviously to come away with a win as a team. I'm guessing from your point of view as well, it must have been, how, how did you feel before the games, were you, were you nervous with the reception you might get? Uh, no, I wasn't nervous because you know I've, I've, I know people still in Falkirk and that live in Falkirk. They were quite friendly, and they, I think uh, a lot of people understand you know reason why I'm why I'm, why I'm here and like you know the decisions that you make in your career. So um, you know everyone's been been great to me since I've been there. You obviously me coming on, you could hear the booze and stuff like that. But I think uh, our fans were brilliant and. Um, they pretty much they you know they helped to block that out for me especially when coming on the pitch and uh, made me feel comfortable and um, you know I was delighted and thanks to the fans as well for you know showing that appreciation to me. And two wins on the trot for us in the league as well which is encouraging after going through a little sticky patch it looks like the team's starting to fill with confidence again. Yeah I think uh, it's always something that happens maybe at the start of the season you kind of uh, you know you could say the Betfred games are pretty much just build-up games for us to go into the league, um, and you, you know they maybe gave a bit of a false representation of what we were going to have the dealing with, especially dealing with in the league. But um, you know the boys are starting to come together now. We're starting to get the results and we're starting to do well. So hopefully, if we can keep this kind of uh, form and you know run that we're doing and the hard work that we're putting in. Um, then hopefully we can start climbing the table quite quickly. It's something slightly different, but we're against a familiar opposition this weekend, Aloha and the Iron Brew Cup. Uh, we played them a couple of weeks ago. Um, wasn't the best performance of the season, certainly not, but it's a chance to put that wrong right and get through to the quarter-final of the Cup. Yeah, definitely. I think the last time we played them, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they... Uh, we didn't play great, or that uh, you know they were bad, or whatever. Anything. I think Alloa came in with a certain plan, and and their plan actually worked quite well. You know, they pressed us at times, in the uh, in places that we didn't think we were actually gonna get pressed, and they they played. I thought they played quite well, and um, you know we found it quite tough to break them down in that in that sense. However, you know this game, I think because we're coming on a high and we're you know attacking wise, we're seeming to get the goals stuff. Certain things are flowing a lot more within our attacking uh, attacking kind of play. Hopefully, going into this game against Aloha, we can you know do the job again. Iron Brew Cup is always something that is uh, good to play in because once again, it's something that gives you a bit of confidence going into the league. Um, and you know, you know, out of all the teams you want to play, you probably would want to have a chance to play you know, Aloha again and get one over them, especially as they're in our league as well. So it's a mental thing uh, as well that we can add to it. So hopefully we can get a result and then move further into the round and also you know focus back on the league. And it's also a chance to you know win a trophy as well, which you know a club like Dunfermline don't often get chances to win yeah. uh, club uh, cup competitions, I should say. So the further we get on in the tournament, the the more realistic chances. Yeah, definitely. It would be great to win the Ironbury Cup. I would that be me winning it for a second time if I was to do that, or even get to play in the final of it. So. Um, for me, you know, in your career, I think as much as you know, have other stuff that come along with it. You want to have the accolades and be able to say, you know, I've won that, I've done that, I've done that, and I've achieved all of this stuff. So, you know, win another cup would be no harm to me, and that would be that would be lovely to do. But right now, we got to focus on the, you know, the task in front of us, which is realistically, um, you know. Aloha. So <laughs> let's just focus on them for now, and then hopefully we can string string along the the results, and then get back to this, uh, the league, which is the biggest the big picture for us. Um, but yeah, it would be lovely to go as far as we can in this uh, cup. And finally, you obviously scored on Saturday, which was great. Um, you've missed Saturday the past couple of games from the start. I guess all you can do is keep doing what you did on Saturday, yeah. coming on and impressing, and trying to find the back of the net. Yeah, it's frustrating. I think uh, you know I've probably. The last season has been the last well the last season and a half has been probably a bit frustrating for me with regards to the amount of games I've had, but um, I can only do as much as I can coming on the pitch and showing that I'm I'm good enough. I know it in myself. I believe in myself 100% that I can do it, um, and I think you know there's a lot of people that believe in me and that know I have the ability to. Um, but 
you know, the manager chooses who he wants to play in the team and I've got to stick by that. I can only show him by coming off the bench. But obviously everyone's going to be frustrated who's on the bench and wanting to be involved. Um, and, you know, I think everyone knows me as a player that, you know, always wants to be involved and always wants to be starting and giving my all for the team and trying to win games as a team and, you know, just being there, being involved in it. But um, regardless, I'm, I'm here, to, here to help and work with the team as much as I can. And uh, hopefully this weekend we can get the result and then we can start climbing up the table and that would be perfect to see for everyone.